Hey there, how is it going? So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find uh, if a data frame is duplicate or if a record is duplicate in Spark. So, I'm going to be using this data frame. You can see we have some duplicate ID here. So, I'm going to be dealing with this ID here. So, the first, there, there are three ways uh, I can go about this. So, I'm just going to go uh, through them uh, step by step. So the first method is um, so I'm going to define a variable called default uh, default uh, count. In this default count, I'm going to count the uh, the uh, data frame record. So that will be df dot count. And the second uh, variable will be distance. And extend df. So I'm going to say df dot drop duplicate. Since I want to deal with the ID, I'll put ID as the column. Uh, can now say print name default uh, count. Then print line uh, distinct count df distinct df dot count. So this should give me the count of the default uh, data frame and the count of uh, uh, data frame after I've dropped, dropped the duplicate. So I can also um, define a, a, a function here called is, is duplicate. So this function is going to return a boolean and I'm going to say uh, uh, so I want if if uh, the uh, default count is greater than distinct uh, df dot count, I want to return true for this method. So that would be uh, default count greater than distinct uh, df dot count. So I will print this method and say print lines duplicate so this should return true for me because there are duplicates uh, uh, data here so I'm going to run it so as you can see we get the default count 7 and distinct count 7 uh, is 4 so that means the default count is greater than distinct count so uh, is duplicate is returning true, which means the data frame is duplicate. Now let's go for the second method. So I'm going to say here, uh, uh, I'm going to define a a data frame here. Let me call it new df equal to. I'm going to say df, which is uh, the original data frame dot accept all. So except or what it's going to do is basically subtract the uh, whatever whatever data frame you put inside the method. You, it's going to subtract it from uh, the main the main data frame. So like uh, it's going to basically do uh, row matching or record matching. So if the record in the inside the uh, data frame uh, is not matching the main data frame. So it's going to return. So uh, you're going to see it in a minute. So that will be df. So I'm going to drop the duplicate and say id. So if I now say uh, this one, uh, new df dot show. So you are going to see. Um, so instead of using drop duplicate here, let me just use the distinct df, distinct df, because it's the same as this one, all right? So run it. So uh, as you can see, this is what I was talking about earlier, right? So when you use accept all, so it's going to match the a data frame in distinct df with the original data frame. In distinct df, we have a one, three, 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 uh, about how many times? Two times, right? So in distinct data frame, it has it has that record 
one time but in the mandate frame it has it two times so it's going to get rid of the first one right and for the one 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 two right it has this record three times in the main data frame so in this same data frame it has it one time so it going it's going to get rid of the first one right and return um the re remaining one which is one 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 two then another one 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 two so that's why you get in this here one this one and the rest of the other uh record so basically th this is what except or uh, can do for you so now you can see this uh the duplicate column and if you want to go further you can say uh, dot uh, um distance basically it will basically give you two records uh one three 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 and one one, one two so um so those are the two ways you can go about it uh, for now um so uh, you can also define a is duplicate uh, method is duplicate which return boolean and you can say um so let's say um this the new df new df um dots is empty so we want to say if it's empty right now right it's not empty so it's going to be false so our we want to return uh true because it's not empty so we, we now say if if uh, not new df dot is empty then uh, return true print line is duplicates so this one should return true for us so as you can see we got the uh, distinct data frame so these are the duplicate data and we've got its duplicate returning true so the third method now we're going to so the third way you can do this is by grouping the data frame it's like say a df dot group by group by we want to group it by id then uh, once we group it by id we want to count the data frame so this will basically return a new df uh, data frame for us with the count of each of the record right so let's run this so as you can see we get the count of each of the record right uh, so w the next thing we need to do is basically filter out the du duplicate uh, record so we say dot filter so filter then our expression we want to say if the count is greater than one then show false so let's run it again so as you can see we get the uh, duplicate uh, data frame right so one 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 two one 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 three 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 so that's our duplicate record our uh, duplicate id so those are the three ways you can go about um finding duplicates in your data frame in spark so that is it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and leave a comment have a lovely day and goodbye